Welcome back to another episode of The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I'm Alex. And I'm Emma. Today, we're diving into the transformative power of a food-first strategy. This approach emphasizes the importance of whole, nutrient-rich foods in promoting health and preventing disease, rather than relying solely on supplements or pharmaceuticals. That's right, Emma. In today's healthcare landscape, there's a growing movement toward emphasizing the pivotal role of nutrition in promoting health. We're talking about prioritizing whole, nutrient-rich foods over relying on supplements or pharmaceuticals to enhance health outcomes. And this isn't just a modern trend. It's a paradigm that aligns with ancient wisdom. Think about it. Cultures across the world, from Ayurveda in India to the teachings of Hippocrates in Greece, have long recognized the medicinal properties of food. Hippocrates even said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. Exactly. But somewhere along the line, especially in the West, we shifted our focus toward pharmaceuticals, viewing food more as a commodity than as a source of healing. The food first strategy is about returning to those roots, recognizing that the food we eat is foundational to our health and well-being. So what makes this strategy so powerful? It's all about the bioavailability of nutrients. When we consume whole foods, we're getting essential micronutrients in their most effective forms, forms that our bodies can absorb and utilize much better than isolated supplements. And these micronutrients are like the superheroes of nutrition. They play crucial roles in cellular health, repair, and even in combating inflammation. When consumed as part of a balanced diet, they can significantly impact our overall health. Let's talk about an interesting aspect of this, natural nanoparticles. Recent research has shown that these minute particles formed during cooking enhance nutrient absorption. For instance, when you make bone broth, natural nanoparticles are created that help your body absorb essential micronutrients more efficiently. And this is something that's often overlooked in modern medicine. The pharmaceutical industry tends to focus on synthetic alternatives, but these naturally occurring nanoparticles have vast potential. They not only improve nutrient absorption, but also help mitigate oxidative stress, a factor in many chronic diseases. This is where the food first strategy bridges traditional wisdom and modern science. By combining ancient practices with contemporary research, we're able to substantiate health claims and bring them into the realm of evidence-based practice. A perfect example of this is the impact of diet on joint health. Observations from elderly populations in China show remarkable joint mobility and lower rates of osteoarthritis which researchers believe is linked to their dietary habits. Foods rich in collagen, like bone broth, play a significant role in maintaining joint health. It's not just about joint health, though. The food first strategy can be applied to various aspects of wellness, including gut health and weight management. For instance, probiotics found in fermented foods like kimchi and sauerkraut can modulate immune responses and reduce inflammation. And let's not forget about the importance of gut microbiota in weight management. Research has shown that certain gut bacteria profiles are associated with improved weight loss outcomes, especially after bariatric surgery. This underscores the importance of a healthy gut microbiome in optimizing nutrient absorption and overall health. But while we're embracing a food-first strategy, we also need to be mindful of what we consume. A recent study revealed that higher alcohol consumption particularly from beverages like beer and cider, increases the risk of gout. It's a reminder that mindful consumption is key to long-term health. Absolutely. Prioritizing nutrient-dense foods and minimizing harmful substances can make a significant difference in managing health and preventing chronic conditions. At Herbal Bloom, we're committed to offering solutions that align with this holistic approach. Our formulas are designed to harness the natural power of food and herbs to support overall well-being. Whether it's joint health, gut health, or immune function, our products focus on integrating these time-tested principles with modern science. That's right, Emma. Let's break it down for our listeners. From our guide, The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies by Herbal Bloom, we've put together a foundation for integrating food-first, holistic nutritional strategies into daily life. For joint health, we recommend starting with bone broth, whether it's bovine or chicken. It's rich in collagen, glucosamine, and chondroitin, all crucial for supporting joint health and repair. Adding turmeric to your diet is also beneficial. Its active compound, curcumin, is a potent anti-inflammatory agent. And don't forget ginger. 
which offers both anti-inflammatory and antioxidative properties, making it a fantastic addition to your joint health regimen. And for gut health, fermented foods like kimchi, sauerkraut, and kefir are excellent sources of probiotics that support a healthy gut microbiome. Pair these with prebiotic foods like garlic, onions, and chicory root to nourish your beneficial gut bacteria. Aloe vera is also a great option. It supports gut lining integrity and soothes the gastrointestinal tract. Inflammation is another key area we focus on. Omega-3 rich foods, such as flax seeds, chia seeds, and fatty fish like salmon and mackerel are great for reducing inflammation. We also recommend Boswellia serrata, or frankincense, which is particularly effective in joint health. For antioxidant support, berries like blueberries and raspberries are high in antioxidants, which combat oxidative stress. Grape seed extract is another powerful antioxidant that supports cardiovascular health and helps reduce inflammation. And when it comes to boosting your immune system, herbs like echinacea, shiitake mushrooms, and astragalus are top-notch. Echinacea enhances immune function, while shiitake mushrooms are rich in beta-glucans that stimulate the immune system. Astragalus is known for its immune-boosting and antiviral properties, making it a great addition to your wellness routine. Don't forget about micronutrients, which are vital for overall health. Moringa oleifera is a nutrient powerhouse, rich in vitamins and minerals. Nuts and seeds are also excellent sources of essential minerals like magnesium and zinc, supporting everything from bone health to immune function. Of course, with all these powerful foods and herbs, it's important to keep a few safety considerations in mind. Always check for allergies or sensitivities, especially when trying something new. If you're pregnant, breastfeeding, or taking any medications, consult with a healthcare provider before incorporating new herbs or supplements into your regimen. Quality matters too. Opt for organic and sustainably sourced products where possible to avoid pesticides and contaminants. And remember, balance is key. Even the healthiest foods and herbs should be consumed in moderation. The food first strategy really signifies a paradigm shift in how we approach health. By advocating for nutrient-rich diets over pharmaceutical interventions, we're not just benefiting our individual health. We're also fostering a renewed appreciation for culinary traditions and indigenous ingredients. As we navigate the complexities of modern healthcare, it's crucial to recognize the vital role that food plays in promoting health and preventing disease. By embracing a food-first strategy, we can truly unlock the potential of food as medicine ensuring that future generations benefit from the transformative power of nutrition. This holistic approach empowers individuals and strengthens our healthcare systems, paving the way for a healthier and more resilient future. In conclusion, the integration of traditional wisdom with modern science, combined with an emphasis on naturally occurring nutrients, offers a promising pathway toward achieving optimal health outcomes. Let's continue to champion the food first strategy as a cornerstone of preventive healthcare, making sure food takes its rightful place as a primary tool for health and well being. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you found this discussion insightful and that it inspires you to explore the benefits of a food first strategy in your own life. Don't forget to visit herbalbloom.org for more information on how to incorporate these practices into your daily routine and be sure to subscribe for the latest updates on episodes, articles, and health tips. Stay healthy, stay informed, and we'll see you next time on The Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. Take care, everyone.